All right, boys and girls, so I'm just going to do a quick video to remind you of how you get onto assignments in benchmark, in handwriting, or on math. So you are always going to log in through Clever, and on the iPads, it's just that big C. And you're going to scan in your QR code that should be on your, on your um, take-home folder. So we're going to log in using that QR code. And it'll say, hold your badge to the camera. Hi. And I'm going to borrow my friend Allie's. And so once you get it in there, you should be able to see your name. And you should be on, this is called the dashboard. And so first I'm going to show you how we go into benchmark. So you're going to scroll down. And this is the one that we use for benchmark. So if you click on that. it's going to bring you onto your assignment page for benchmark. So right here is the assignment page and there should be some assignments um, that are, are due. So you'll click on the assignment and remember to open it, you'll click on this little book and you will go and complete the assignment. So she would go and listen to this whole story. Sorry, my internet's being slow. So she would go and listen to this whole story by pressing play up here. And you turn the page, you know, by cl clicking each one and you can keep turning those pages. When you're done with that, you click on the done and you should end up back out and you want to make sure that you click on done here. And that's going to show that you've done that activity okay so that is benchmark which today you'll have a couple of benchmark activities um, i'm going to go back to my dashboard here and we're going to go back out and we're going to go back to the clever so again you lock in log in with your qr code and you're back to clever Sometimes you need to use Clever to log into our handwriting without tears. Now that one there is our little bunny app. So if you go on there, you will see that there's some assignments on here for you today. And so right here on the little backpack is the assignments. Watch the video. And it will not let you go on to the next activity until you have done all of the activities. So like this one here, she's done two parts of the activity. So if I click on this, we can watch this activity. Starting corner capitals, capital H. Smiley face helps you get started. Follow me. Start in the starting corner. Big line down, jump to the other corner. Big line down, little line across the middle. Cool! I'm in love! <laughs> All right, so now we've watched that video. So now you see that this green arrow has appeared. So I can Way click on that. And then it's going to bring me to the very next thing that I need it's to do. It's time to practice in your handwriting book. Now, when you guys get this, um, you're going to click that arrow down. Do you have a handwriting book? And you're going to click yes. Complete this page in your handwriting book. Okay, so you would go to page 10 and you would complete this page. And then once you're done with that, you would click on the arrow. When you've completed the handwriting page, click the arrow to move on. Now remember, when you have handwriting, it might be a different page than this. this. I'm just showing you how to get through an activity. So what is assigned to you is probably different than what's being shown here. But once you've completed this page here, you can go Turn in here. your work by taking a picture or uploading a file. And you guys can try taking a picture. I know sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't. I need to allow the camera. And I don't have any any of my handwriting right now, but I could say, I could take a picture of my work, it says things. 
what I'm noticing is it's backwards. So don't worry about the picture on here, boys and girls, because I'll show you what you're going to do. Um, when you're done with that. Great. Click on the arrow to turn in your activity. Okay, so you turn that in, and then it should bring you back you to the main screen. You earned a star. Okay. Now, as far as the picture goes, the reason I'm going to tell you not to worry about the picture is because um, you're going to actually go back into Seesaw and you'll be taking a picture in Seesaw. So that's where you'll need to make sure that the picture isn't backwards and Seesaw, the picture should work fine. Okay, so you can see she still has some more assignments in her backpack. One other thing I wanted to show you is um, sometimes just for your may do work, you can come in and you can go to some tools and you guys can try any of these activities. So when I say a may do handwriting without tears, I'm always going to be talking about that toolbox. Okay. Are you sure you want to exit? Yep, I do. All right, so now I'm going Enter to... Enter your teacher's pin. I'm going to go back to the student login and one more thing that we sometimes use our clever login for is for our math games now on math games you remember you're going to log you're going to click on it and these are going to be often may do activities once you're in here remember you're going to click on this launch for the everyday math And then you're going to go up to the top. I call that the little hamburger. And then remember, you want to find the one that has that little spinner looking thing on there. And then it says online games. Excuse me. So if you click on that, then you can get to your games. Okay. So I just wanted to review for those of you that weren't sure how to log on to Clever or if you wanted to help your parents. That way you will know how to get on and do those activities. Let me know if you have any questions.